Take a look right here. Bitcoin has just burst through this trend line for the first time all year. This trend line started in January of 2023 with rejection, March rejection, June rejection, July rejection, September rejection and October rejection and a breakthrough in a major way for the first time all year. But it may not be what it seems because we've got some bearish divergence. Price higher and higher and higher, indicator lower and lower and lower. Things are heating up and we're about to break it down. Welcome in if you're new. My name is Steve. On this channel, we talk about just the facts and the charts and our goal is to actually help you. We don't take any paid sponsorships. There are no affiliate links down below. We are actually good old fashioned advice for you, facts in the charts and helping you. Hit that subscribe button, let's jump into it. So on this chart, we've got a lot to break down. I mean, this is a major, major breakthrough. But as we discussed, there could be a storm brewing in the background that could really devastate a lot of people. And we're going to break it down. I wanted to talk about this chart as well. The quicksand fake out on the Gaussian channel. This is major. I'm going to be dropping this free bonus video on Thursday. Free bonus video on Thursday to everyone on our email list. Go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com, jump on our email list. If you're on the email list, watch the inbox like a hawk on Thursday. Drop in a major bonus video for the Gaussian channel, fake out with the quicksand on Thursday, CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Make sure you're on the email list. Now, on this chart, we've got two major components to talk about, price action, which is above, and the RSI, which is in the middle. We are on the Bitcoin US dollar index, and we're on the two-day chart. The two-day chart is one of my favorites. Why? Because if you scroll out and zoom out, we created the below, below, below strategy. As you remember on this channel, we created it maybe two years ago, and it's time the market bottom for every single cycle, including most recently. So on this two-day chart, we saw a price back here in January of 2023, right at about 22K with some resistance from this trend line. And this is where the story starts. Our price was going higher and higher and higher as our indicator was going lower and lower and lower. We also received some resistance back in March of 2023 when the RSI was at 74. Keep in mind when we started this process, when January, we were at about 80. So we dropped from 80 to 74 between January and March. And at the same time, we went between 22K in price. And then by the time we got up here in March, we were at 30K about 30.5K. So you saw that big drop in the RSI, you saw the heavy increase in price, and we were on this journey. And this journey really is at a collision point right now with this major breakthrough that we just saw for the first time all year. Once we passed March, we were continuing to get pushed down by this trend line. Keep in mind, anytime you draw a trend line on a chart, you want to look for breakthroughs, not in a couple days for a couple weeks. You want to look for a trend line that's been holding true for months and months and months, and then you see a major breakthrough, right? All you want to do is draw your trend line and you want at least three touch points. Once you have three touch points, and it's multiple months, and we have a breakthrough, that's incredibly, incredibly powerful information. You can use this on any crypto, on any stock, for the history of mankind, for the rest of your life. So we've connected the dots. We have touch point one, touch point two, touch point three, four, five. We're well on our way. We have way more than three. But in our story, we continue in March. We're at 30.5K, we're at 74 in the RSI, and we continue into June. We dropped from 74 down to 68, and we were still even higher in price, albeit slightly. We we're about 1K up in price. So we just got above 31K. We were back here, we were at about 30.5, and up here, we we're about 31.5 right? So our journey is continuing. We're continuing to make higher high in prices, and we've continued to make lower 
lower highs. This is our high. This is our lower high. This is another lower high. This is another lower high. We're continuing to make lower highs in our RSI and continuing to make higher highs in price. Anytime you see this on any time frame, this is bearish divergence. You need to pay close attention and proceed with caution. As our story continues, we had the RSI continue to drop even further. By the time we reached July, the RSI had sunk all the way to 66, meaning that was a yet another lower high. With price, we even were able to create yet another higher high in price, just below 32K. Keep in mind, about 200-ish days ago, we mentioned that Bitcoin will not reach a higher price, right? We talked about this 196 days ago, right here in this chair. I sat here, I said, Bitcoin has entered phase one of the bull and it's highly unlikely we get past 32K. It's highly likely we have low volatility. It's highly likely it's incredibly boring. Why? Because every single phase one of the bull is very boring. Market moved sideways in 2012 for almost 200 days. Market moved sideways in 2016 for almost 200 days. Market moved sideways in 2019 for 500 days before entering phase two of the bull. Where are we now? We've been sideways as we speak for 196 days. For those who have followed the channel for the past 196 days, we've referenced this chart time and time again. It keeps you level-headed. Instead of worrying about, oh my God, there's all these fluctuations of the day-to-day -day price. This is overwhelming. Do I buy? Do I sell? What do I do? You take a step back, you look at the big picture, you realize, hey, we're in phase one of the bull and it's supposed to be boring. Don't worry, take a breath, we're okay. We're right on schedule. Attention teachers, coaches, professors, I wanna hire you. Even if you've always dreamed about having one of those jobs and never had it, I wanna hire you. I care about this, here are the qualifications. Are you incredibly passionate about crypto? Number two, are you incredibly passionate about actually helping other people improve their lives? And number three, are you incredibly passionate about teaching? If you said yes to those three, I want to hire you. Send me an email right now, info at cryptocrewuniversity.com. We're building an incredible team. Become a part of our team to help improve lives. Our mission is to change a million lives. If you resonate with that and you want to get a job in crypto to do the thing you love, this is your opportunity. This is a calling of a lifetime. Send me an email and we'll see where it goes. Peace and love. So here we are, right? We had June rejection. We had July rejection. We're continuing to make higher highs in price while at the same time making lower highs in the RSI. Again, major warning sign, but stay tuned. This is where things get interesting because as we continue into the September, October-ish timeframe, we continue to make yet another lower high in the RSI. We're talking about 57 on the RSI right? At the same time, price did not make a higher high, right? So we continued to make higher highs all the way through June and July, and then we had something happen, which we'll get into in a moment. But this is where things get interesting, because as we continue into September and October, we're down here at 57, and then we're down here at 56, and we're having trouble right? We're still getting some resistance from this exact move, this exact trend line, continuing to make lower highs, and we're in a bit of trouble. Or are we? As we continue into present day, you have this trend line that's been conforming all year, right? Literally for 10 months, we are here in front of this trend line, and this trend line is continuing to push us down, continuing to push us down. So we have a multi, multi-month trend line. We have multiple, multiple touch points. We're continuing to make lower highs. And then most recently, just hot off the press, we bursted through here. And again, what you wanna do is use this philosophy with any chart 
you look at, if you have multi-month touch points, you're continuing to make lower lows or lower highs, however you draw the trend line, whenever you break through a multi-month trend line with multiple touch points in any category of investing, this is major. This is a huge inflection point in the market. Now, if you look at present day, not only did we break through this area where we were supposed to get some resistance at 60, we are currently all the way up past 70. Now, a few things have happened because I told you in the beginning of the video, this is incredibly noteworthy. I also told you at the beginning of the video that we have some bearish divergence forming. So there are two inflection points that are kind of conforming at the same time. Now I want to give my perspective, and this is where things kind of take a sharp turn. Before we get to that, I do want to mention on our previous video, I asked everybody to comment with ideas for a new masterclass. I read every single comment and something really became true. As I was reading through a lot of the comments, first and foremost, thank you all for commenting. Tons of comments with ideas. A lot of you guys were commenting ideas for a masterclass that I've already created. We have my very popular course bundle, right? My course bundle that has changed all sorts of lives. A lot of people mentioned, hey, Steve, I want to know all about the FIB levels and how to set that up. That's in my course bundle. A lot of people said, hey, Steve, I want to know about swing trading. I want to know how to swing trade. What's the strategy? When to buy and when to sell? That's in my course bundle. A lot of people said Bollinger Bands. I want to know about Bollinger Bands. That's in my course bundle. A lot of people said, hey, Steve, I want to know how to set up the charts like you. I want to know how to use this trading view thing. I want to know how to use these indicators and how to actually set up the chart. That's in my course bundle, step by step. Then... There were some great ideas that I wrote down, but I just wanted to thank you guys for that. Now, let me get to my perspective here, and this is where this chart takes a big curveball, and this is where things start to heat up. I talked about this bearish divergence, right? We talked about price, higher and higher and higher, another higher high, another higher high, even here was another higher high, even here was technically another higher high. So we're already into the June and July area. How do you break bearish divergence. It's easy. What you need to do to break bearish divergence is create a higher high, a breakthrough. Instead of creating another lower high, another lower high, another lower high, you need to break that with a first higher high. Look at what we're doing right now. Again, this hasn't closed yet. We're on the two-day chart. This will close in roughly 15, 16 hours, right? But if this were to print where it is now, it would print up in the 70s and our previous resistance from here and here would be broken, meaning we would break this bearish divergence, meaning we would null and void this bearish divergence, which is fascinating. Now, as we say that, this breakthrough here of a multi-month trend line is incredibly powerful for two reasons. Number one, it would break this bearish divergence. And number two, this would be the first breakthrough all year in the RSI saying that, hey, it is time to pay attention to price action. We have more power coming through. Picture this as a pressure cooker, right? Rejection, 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 rejection. It's rejecting us. It's pushing our head all the way down and down and down. And it's building pressure and building pressure and building pressure and building pressure. What you will always see on these multi-month trend lines is a big breakthrough. You will always see a big breakthrough. You're never going to see a tiny little breakthrough because of the pressure cooker has been building for months and months and months. In our case, 10 months, almost 11 months of this pressure cooker, and we finally broke through. This is incredibly noteworthy. Again, I'm gonna be doing a bonus video on Thursday. Make sure you join our email list, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and I'm gonna be coming right back in the next video talking about this from other angles with more charts so we can understand what is happening in crypto. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs. Do you wanna know when to buy and when to sell? Click this video right now.